Hey everyone, Anjita Desai. Welcome back to AB Automation Hub. In today's video, we will see how we can group the test cases in Cypress. So first of all, let's understand why is grouping important. Well, it helps in organizing your test cases logically and making your test suite more maintainable and scalable. For example, we have this end-to-end -end folder over here. And if you are not creating folders, maybe you have all the test cases inside the same folder. That is not a good approach to maintain your test case. If you have test cases for different features like checkout or payment page, so you can create multiple folders inside this one. Or in case if you have test cases for smoke or regression, again, you can create folders like this. Like I have created for regression and for smoke, you can create, categorize your test case in that way and add your test cases to that specific folder. In Cypress, when you're running your test case, it will pick from this end-to-end -end folder. So for example, if you go to terminal and do npx Cypress run, it will take all the test cases which are present inside your end-to-end -end folder like this. So you can see over here, it is searching five test cases. First is inside the regression folder and then inside the smoke also. So total of five test cases are here. So if you see, we have five test cases in total over here and this is searching all the test cases. But if you want to group your test case, how we can do that? So that's pretty straightforward in Cypress. So what you can do, so if you have created folders like this, so in that case, you can just create a custom command and run your test case for that specific folder only. For example, you just want to run test case only for the smoke folder. So how you can do that? So for that, you can use the spec flag and pass the customized path for the test cases. So you can pass it like this. For example, over here, what I have done, I have passed my spec flag. And with the spec flag, I'm saying, take all the test cases which are inside your smoke folder. So if we run this command, it will just pick one test case, which is inside the smoke and it will not look for any other test case. If you see over here, it is just one test case. It actually, it is searching for the test cases, which are inside your smoke. Fine. So this is very helpful when you have multiple folders, you have lot many test case and you want to group your test case. In that case, you can use this approach. And for example, in regression, if you go to regression, Inside the regression, we have three test cases and then we have one more folder, which is inside regression, which is your checkout. So in case you want to run only checkout, so you can do that as well. So what you have to do, go to your terminal. So just change the path over here. So inside regression, we want checkout. So what I will do, regression, checkout, you can pass it like this, which means all the test cases which are inside the checkout folder in this format. Okay, now if I run my command, it will just run one test case, which is inside your checkout. You see this one? So this is to do.cy.js and it is actually running the same test case. Fine. So what you can do, this is from the terminal, what we saw, you can create multiple scripts in your package.json and then you can use it in your CI CD pipeline, or if you're running it on your local machine as well. For example, you can create script like this, smoke test, and inside that you can pass your command. So like we have passed Cypress end to end and that folder path. So like I want to run for smoke, so you can pass it like this. And similar way, if you want to create a script for regression, we can do that as well. So I will pass it as a regression test, and then you can create a customized script for your regression test case as well. So now let's go to terminal and let's run our script and let's see if it is working fine. So first we will run the smoke test. So npm run and your script name. So this is how you run your script in Cypress. So it's npm run and the script name. If you run this one, it will just pick one test case, which is inside your smoke folder. So if you see, this is searching for this folder structure and then it found only one test case, which is to do.cy.js. So that means your script is working fine for smoke. And similarly, you can test for regression as well. So let's copy the script from here. Let's clear it and let's run the command for regression as well. So npm run and your regression script. So now it will search for all the test cases which are inside your regression folder like this. And over here, it is not searching for checkout folder. In case if you want to fetch all the folders also inside the regression, what we can do, we can again customize our script. We can pass it like this. We just have to change this regular and it will be working as per that. Let's see for this one also. So if we rerun the script for regression test case, now it will search for the checkout as well. So you see, it is searching for the checkout test case because we pass the regular expression in this way. So this is the way how you can run your test case. If you have multiple folders, let's say if you have one more folder inside it, I can create one more and we'll show you multiple folders inside regression, how you can run that. 
So let me copy the test case inside this one. So now we have one test case inside payment and one test case inside the checkout. So if we run this command, it will be executing two test cases. Let's see once again. So if we rerun the command, now there will be two test cases which will be executed. You see, it is actually searching for two test cases. One is inside the checkout and one is inside the payment. So this way you can create multiple groups. You can create multiple scripts to run the test cases based on the groups. If you want to create for smoke or for regression, or in case if you create the customized script for folders like feature wise also, you can create that easily in, in Cypress. It's, it's pretty straightforward and it's all beneficial when you run your test case on the CI CD pipeline. You can, you can create multiple scripts. You can check for different features individually or for smoke or regression also. So apart from this, if you want to run all the test cases, which are inside the regression folder, you can do that as well. So by all the test cases, I mean all the four test cases including the ones which are there in the subfolders like checkout and payment because earlier we saw how we can run only these two test cases which are directly inside the regression folder but now if you want to run all the test cases despite of any other subfolder you can do that as well so how to do that so over here what you have to do you have to remove this extension first of all and pass a double asterisk with this one it will actually run all the test cases which are inside your regression folder now let's go to terminal and we can see how it is working. So just run the same command. It's npm run regression test. And now it will be executing four test cases. Do you see it is searching for four test cases? First one is just actions, assertions, and then one inside the checkout and then the other one inside the payment. So this is how you can group your test cases. If you want to group it in this way, you can do this as well. You can create a separate script for including the test cases which are inside folder like this one. And if you want to create a separate script for let's say subfolders, you can do that as well. So I'll also add a script over here for checkout. So this is a script name and you can use the similar command over here and we can edit the path in case of checkout. For example, for example, if you want to run only checkout test case, in this case, we will pass checkout, regression checkout, and then asterisk.cy.js so that it can only execute test cases which are inside the specific folder. If you want to test and run it, we can check it in the terminal. Go to a terminal. Let me quickly clear it. Now, if you run the command, it will only run one test case which is inside your checkout folder. So here you see this is running one test case and it is searching for this path, which is regression checkout. So this is how you can create multiple scripts based on your requirement. You can create for single folder, multiple folder, or if you want to create for subfolders as well, you can create it like this and you can use it for running it on the CICD pipeline as well. So yeah, that's it for the video. I thought of creating a quick video on this topic because I have been getting multiple messages on how to group the test case in Cypress. So this is one of the way how you can group it. And by grouping the test case, your execution speed also increases because it will not search for all the cases. It will just search for specific folder or specific path and will run only those test cases. So yeah, if you're liking the content, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.